Bitch, welcome to books I'm reading and shit I'm thinking. Today's book is Dr. Katie Mack's The End of Everything. And the shit I'm thinking about is, well, how the universe started. I mean, for sure, this book is mainly about the ends, the physical ends of the universe. As in plural, there are many ways that the universe can expire. But I really like how she explained the start of the universe in this book. First of all, do you remember that cosmic microwave background radiation thing? Like, what the fuck? This is such a mo motherfucking mouthful. Anyways, do you remember this thing that we studied in our high school physics classes? Or maybe science classes? Maybe you're taking these classes right now. I don't know. Anyways, it's this radiation out there in the universe that we can detect with every direction that we look at, the direction doesn't matter. It's always there. That's why it's called background radiation. And what it is, is a remnant of the light that was produced by the universe when it was really, really young, pretty much when it was a baby. How does that even work? Was the universe born and its placenta is just all over the walls in our galaxy? Am I basically telling you that it's possible to look into the past and that astrophysicists are doing this on a daily basis? But how is this shit possible? Fact number one, light takes time to reach places. You know, in our normal human scale, light takes no time at all to travel from point A to B. For example, you turn on the light in your room and the light travels, well, from the source, from the light bulb to your walls in no time at all. But fact number two is that the universe is huge. And sometimes light from really, really far places out there in the universe hasn't even reached us. In fact, light from our own sun takes eight minutes to reach the Earth. And light from the nearest galaxy out there, the Andromeda galaxy, it takes about 2.5 million years to reach us. The universe is huge. So cool, now you know that light takes time to reach places and that the universe is really huge, so huge that light from other places out there in the universe takes millions of years to reach us. There's one last thing you need to understand how we are able to see the birth of our universe through that cosmic microwave background mouthful fucking radiation. Basically, anything that is hot glows. Maybe your partner is really hot or your crush is really hot. Next time you see them, think about how outer space also glows with hotness. And by glowing, I mean that it is emitting light. 